Here at the Chicago Zoological Society Brookfield Zoo, we have a department called the Center for the Science of Animal Care and Welfare. That center combines all of our programs within animal programs itself and our research department to develop the best programs for well-being of the animals. And an intricate part of that program is our nutrition department. There we decide not only what animals eat and the variety of food they're gonna eat, but we also figure out how to provide that food to them. So the food also serves as an enrichment program. Browse is an important part of our nutrition program. Here at Brookfield Zoo, we've been in a collaborative relationship with ComEd for the last six years where they provide us the tree trimmings, which we call browse, to be able to provide for our animals in addition to their normal diets. We have been getting deliveries from them twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays, and they deliver a nice big load of browse for us that we can then deliver to all the animals within the park. Most people don't understand, or I don't think they're aware that we have 250 tree crews out on the street on any given day, cutting trees and branches away from the power lines. So we're taking the materials and we're actually seeing them put to good use as opposed to being run through the chipper and turned into mulch. We'll identify trees that are suitable for brush delivery. We'll cut the material, we'll stack the material, and then a clam truck will come by and pick up the material, store it overnight, and that first thing in the morning, we drop the material off at the zoo. We've delivered just over 140 loads of brush to the zoo. There's probably about 15 to 20 species that receive our browse, which includes our black rhino, our giraffe, the garanuk, the bison, the gorillas, the orangutans. We are really, really appreciative to ComEd to be able to do this with them because it's a mutually beneficial relationship. They are able to work through their plans of making sure that the electrical lines are cleared, and then we get the benefit of having the browse and being able to utilize it for our animals in the most beneficial way. So we've seen benefits both with dental health. Uh, because the animals are able to chew on the branches, it helps to release some of the tartar. So that's been really important, especially for our rhinos. They naturally will nip branches that are about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch thick, and they can chew those up. So being able to provide them something other than just hay, which doesn't give them that opportunity, we have been able to help keep their teeth clean, and it's been able to help with their behavior as well. We've seen interesting behaviors with our giraffe and other species species that are browsers because they are able to use their tongue or they're able to stand like the Garanuk do and be able to get those fresh leaves that they really enjoy. So it's been helpful for natural activities. Uh, it increases activity level because the animals are really busy either chewing the leaves or actually some of our animals like the gorillas and orangutans will peel the bark off of the, the branches and so that keeps them busy as well. We have about four different species that are the favorites here. The biggest ones being maple, mulberry, willow, and honey locust. So one of the concerns being a northern hemisphere zoo is that uh, for about six months out of the year, we don't have leaves on the trees. So we've been working really hard to try to find a way to be able to supply browse to our animals in the winter. So one of the ways that really has worked well for us has been vacuum sealing the browse and freezing it. So even after six months in the freezer, the animals still enjoy it and are very excited about seeing it in the middle of February. I'd like to thank ComEd for all of their work and the dedication that they've put into this project because it has been absolutely wonderful for all of our animals here at Brookfield Zoo.